Well, South Street is holding its spring festival, Philadelphia's largest today. So it is so big that more than a dozen, it takes up more than a dozen blocks. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Anita O is live this morning to tell us more about how the festival benefits small businesses. Hi, Anita. Good morning, Jan. Well, with more than 50,000 people expected, you can just imagine the kind of prep work that has gone into making this such a fun and successful event. So up early with us this morning is Mike Harris of the South Street Head House District. Mike, thanks for joining us. Good so morning, Philadelphia has seen a lot of major events in the past several years. The draft was just here. We hosted the Pope, but this is a hyper local event. So what do these kinds of festivals do for these types of corridors? Well, this is a great chance to show off South Street. It's a historic and everyone knows where South Street is. So we wanted to do a very fun, family friendly festival. This is our fifth year of doing it and it's been a great success. It's a chance for people to come down and have a great day on the street. And what else can people expect to see today? specifically the Philly Taco Festival. <laughs> what exactly is a Philly Taco? Well, Philly Taco, we started last year, and this will be our second annual. So Philly Taco is a Jim's, a full-size Jim's cheesesteak rolled up in a full-size Lorenzo slice. So it's a, it's a, a treat, and it's, but it's also a feast uh, in one meal. It is a very big feast. I love my tacos, but that Whew, that's going to take some work. Now, we also have a lot of other types of food to expect this morning. So we have Bon Me and Bottles, which is a brand new restaurant that opened in December. Can you explain what we're looking at? Yes. Uh, so today uh, we, um, because it's a festival, we want something fast but uh, interesting for right for the summer. So we want to do a lot of real food. Uh, here I have, uh, uh, we serve only half of the bun meat, uh, and I serve it with lemongrass, real lemongrass pork. And right here, I have real um, coconut uh, milk um, curry chicken. And over here, I have real spicy shrimp and also real uh, portobello mushroom. So this is the owner, Tuan Fang, and we are also looking at this coconut drink, which is amazing, and I am so excited to try that. It's fresh. Yes, it's fresh. So you said that you had a family business about eight years ago. So what inspired you to bring your own business here to South Street? Uh, I feel like there's a lot of potential to South Street or uh, Center City Philly in general. Um, and I feel like we are missing um, um, a different Asian cuisine here. And that's what uh, I want to bring it here to South, I mean, to South Street. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, both of you for getting up early with us this morning. So the South Street Spring Festival, the largest in the city, will be kicking off at 11 this morning and will go until 8 tonight. So throughout the morning, we're going to be bringing you more of what you can expect to see here at the festival if you're joining us later this afternoon. But for now, live on South Street, Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.